Hey Capricorn, welcome to your love and romance reading for February 2021. Now, my darlings, if you are sick and tired of all of us tarot readers doing nothing but love readings, I hear you, I feel you, you came to the right channel, you just clicked on the wrong video. Right? This is going to be love and romance for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, setting the intention for Venus as well. Um, but don't forget on this channel, every single week, I do a weekly forecast around everything else that's coming up for you guys, spirituality, career, family stuff, friendships, everything outside of love and romance. So be sure to check out the weekly forecasts as well, but we're going to see what's coming up here for love, L-O-V-E for Cappy, for our Cappy friends, one, two three four five all right my dears let's get into it ah, ha, ha, ha. your first card is ace of swords okay ace of swords is a very 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 positive card for me and my readings because especially when it's coming up in a relationship situation it tells me that something is opening up like some like the, the lines of communication are opening up communicating more effectively but ace of swords is a very special meaning for me right when i see it come up in readings to me this is like the crown chakra is unblocking okay so this is those of you who have been blocked in love cappy or you've been having a really hard time with um love life coming in or relationships have been challenging there have been a lot of subconscious like i don't know if i want to say subliminal but like these subconscious limited beliefs that have made love life challenging for you and that have caused you to be attracted to people that were not the best for you okay and so when we see the ace of swords it's telling me that those limited beliefs are being cleared they're being moved out of the way and so a lot of you are beginning to uh, attract or be attracted to and also attract mutually back attract back to you higher vibrational people and people who are like you know i don't want to put anybody down but higher quality higher quality relationships for some of you you're going to realize this person's been right under your nose they've been right under your nose and you just had not seen them or you had not uh you know noticed them in that way because you were going through with these limited beliefs or um your view on love was limited because of your experiences your inherited inherited patterns and stuff but you're breaking out of it um i feel a lot of you too with this ace of swords your type is genuinely changing like just naturally on its own naturally on its own it's not like you're trying to say okay well that type hasn't been working for me so let me go for the more artistic type let me go for the brainier smarter type let me go for the you know muscle muscle type or you know physical fitness type or no 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 it's it's just like you're just naturally beginning to gravitate uh to a different energy okay and that person can look like anything right they they can be a brainy type they can be creative they can be a physical fitness buff you're graduate graduating well yeah graduating yeah you're graduating into uh being attracted to a higher frequency right and at the same time without having to give up like physical attraction but you're you're just finding that you're being attracted to healthier energy communication like i said as well too here opening up your next card here is the five of wands right and five of wands can indicate conflicts disagreements arguments so that goes right in hand in hand with the ace of swords a lot of you are finding solutions if you've been in a relationship for a long time okay and you've just been having this ongoing argument that you just guys go round and round and round and round and round ace of swords is saying you're having this epiphany aha okay here's how to handle this because this is what they've been trying to say and I haven't been catching it. And this is what I've been trying to explain, but they haven't been catching it. So here's the way that we can find the common ground or here's the way that we can find the peaceful solution. And so I do feel for a lot of you in a relationship where there's been an ongoing issue or problem, there's resolution. Those of you who are single, you're beginning to realize and see what in your life has not been aligned 
with the person you've been wanting to call in. Okay. And I feel like this card came up for one of the other signs. I, I, it may have been Aquarius. I got a different feeling. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius and m making peace with an Aquarius so you can move on. But I'm getting a different vibe for you guys from the five of wands than I got from them. For them, I got there were just a lot of people pulling on them in their life that was preventing them from focusing on what they needed to do and being happy. And like people were coming in and they were like, oh, I don't know, Chris has got a lot going on, right? For you guys, I feel the five of wands differently. For you guys, Capricorn, I feel the five of wands in the sense that like, um, you're beginning to see the way that you have presented yourself or certain things about people that you have let slide in relationships have given the wrong impression or the wrong idea and it has like messed up your boundaries and when I say wrong impression or wrong idea I mean in terms of like what you're willing to tolerate or what's okay in the relationship right maybe Capricorn you kind of went in like ah you know I don't want to be dramatic I'll just let it go I'll just kind of give this person like a, a, a little sign that I didn't like that but they're not picking it up they're, they're, they're not getting it they're not getting the hint they're not getting the clue they're not getting the message. And so Capricorn, a lot of you are realizing that, ah, okay, my approach is changing here. Uh, a lot of you also, I feel like those of you who are dating online, <laughs> God bless you. God be with you. It's a tricky time right now to be dating online. Um, but those of you who are dating online because you feel like you have to, right? I feel like you're even going in and you're like redoing your whole like uh, profile. You're like you're, you're redoing your entire, um, uh, you know, you're about me. You may even be taking out pictures or changing pictures. Um, I feel some of you are even like looking at like, like you have group shots with people, like you have pictures with like friends and stuff and you're like saying, Oh, wait a minute. You know, I don't really hang out with this friend anymore. Cause they're kind of, you know, this way or that way. And all right, well then I'm in this picture with this person. People are going to have the impression of me that I'm like this person too. And I'm not like that. Right. Or I'm not like that anymore. So I just feel like you're like with a fine tooth comb going through and changing the way you're putting yourself out there or the way that you're being presented you're able to express who your authentic self is better and so you're going to be attracting uh better uh better matches for you better people for you and the reason why i kind of laughed and said god bless you for those of you who are dating online keep in mind capricorn this is part and parcel with the course this is just the times that we're living in there are a lot of people right now who are looking uh, to date uh, because they just kind of want to have, uh, uh, you know, uh, somebody that's going to send them, you know, sexy pictures and, you know, talk naughty to them because they feel like, OK, well, I can't go out there. I can't hook up with people because th they're, they're concerned. They're worried. They feel like they, they have to stay in and they're going to be pulling on your time a lot. You got other things to do. You don't have time to like be constantly sending those messages. Or maybe you want that comfort. Maybe you Capricorn are looking for that. But at the same time, those of you who are getting lonely, you're wanting something more. You're wanting a relationship. You're realizing that, whoa, this is taking away time from me being able to find that connection, right? Again, you're finding ways to be aligned with the deeper relationship that you want to call in. Um, other people right now are just looking for not just a relationship, but a new living arrangement, right? So be aware of that as well. It, it can be a little challenging. So it can be kind of a tricky or challenging time right now to kind of go through what's out there on the internet. But I feel a lot of you Capricorns are coming to a time of being better able to put that out there right like like put out there really who you are really what you want really what you're looking for and then as you're getting to know people you're having really good boundaries you're, you're really able to just kind of you know not let people push the relationship into a direction that you don't like or that you don't want your next card here my dears is the queen of cups queen of cups is wifey energy for me okay so when i see this card this is a card that i associate with marriage Okay, so a lot of you are 
stepping into this energy or you're attracting this energy into your love life, okay? Um, those of you who are looking for a wifey, okay? Um, this is telling me, again, going back to you being attracted to a different energy, you are beginning to be attracted or you're beginning to pick up more quickly on, you know, uh, people who are going to be loving, nurturing, selfless, giving, kind. Um, also here, those of you who are stepping into the wifey energy, this has a lot of message here in terms of like self-care. You, maybe you've been doing way too much for other people. You need to take time to take care of yourself. You take time to take care of yourself and do things that feed your spirit, feed your soul. Okay? Now, some of you Capricorns, not all of you, and I don't mean to get all like, you know, deep here. I don't mean to like go into like this deep level. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't have any certification or qualification to uh, diagnose or to analyze anything. But I feel this energy here as a lot of you are going through your limiting beliefs and clearing them out of the way and coming into like things that have, uh, uh, you know, caused you to be attracted to people that weren't so good for you. Some of you are having a conversation with a mother figure, okay, and, and, and making peace with this mother figure, even if you didn't realize that you had an issue with them. Something with the mother relationship, the nurturing aspect of things, or the way that she mothered you, or the or the type of you know, uh, you know, mom or wife or whatever she may have been, has kind of maybe held you back in your love life. And so some of you are able to have a conversation, not in an accusatory way, but just kind of like you know, clear up this misunderstanding here in terms of like you know, how you felt or, or, or things you thought, um, uh, you know, for some of you, maybe you felt like you were a burden, right? And for some of you, this is different situations, different uh, situations, different experiences. For some of you, maybe this mother figure is not around anymore, right? So maybe you're doing this more on a spiritual level. For other, others of you, maybe this person's very toxic and you, you're not going to be able to reason with them or they have addictions and or like some mental incapacity that you can't have this conversation. But you're going to have it within yourself and you're going to have it on a spiritual level. And I feel like you're giving yourself this love and you're, you're releasing this uh, mother figure. You're letting them go and you're you're in the sense like giving yourself that love that nurturing energy and this is opening up to attracting this kind of relationship in your life um those of you who are married okay like you're you're full-on married or you're like you're living with this person i feel like and those of you who are like you know wifey you're already wifey by title or by arrangement right i feel like you're really stepping into what it means uh to be a wife Okay, and I don't mean in terms of like, you know, 1950s Betty Crocker, unless that is something that you enjoy and unless that's a way in which you express your feelings and your love, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, the whole kind of domestic aspect gets a really bad rap these days because it's seen as inequality or it's seen as like, oh, well, no, it shouldn't be like that and both of you should be doing this and doing... Look, different strokes are different folks. If you like that, if you enjoy it, there's nothing wrong with embracing that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, uh, wanting to, you know, if you enjoy that Betty Crocker kind of thing, to live that way, right? But you're stepping into the, the loving, supportive, caring, healing um, aspect of uh, th that feminine energy that gets a bad rap. And you can still be in that loving, caring uh, feminine energy and still be a feminist you can still be in that loving caring energy um, and still be an independent you know uh, woman right like it, it doesn't mean that uh, you know you have to sacrifice one for the other but just coming into this nurturing energy and attracting more nurturing energy in your love life okay your next card here my darlings is the two of wands 
This is choices and decisions. This is also partnerships. I think uh, you guys might have had an extra card fall out. Or did they land on top of each other? One, two, three. No, they landed on top of each other. Okay, so two of wands here is going to be here. Choices, decisions, and to think carefully. Okay, so some of you are being presented with um, uh, more than one option. Okay, and you're having to choose between uh, these two people or these two scenarios. I feel some of you are being pressured to hurry up and to travel to some place, like to meet this person. Especially if, if, if you're um, uh, dating online, you might have somebody who's like, you know, kind of uh, pressuring you or rushing you like to go in to see them. And the two of wands tells me that this might not be the best time to do that. Okay, and I don't mean because of what's happening on the world level because there are a lot of people that are flying and the airlines are saying that it's safe to fly now and people and people are doing it and they're fine so i don't mean from that aspect i just mean from the aspect as far as you capricorn and what you have going on and the things that you're working through um and you might just kind of decide that you know what i need to do this in a way and in a time frame that i'm gonna enjoy it that it doesn't feel rushed to me right like that i feel ready Okay, and I think especially for those of you who are male, um, it's going to really, really be the case because you might have kind of felt like, well, you know, I have to be the man and I have to step up and I have to, you know, like you don't think of like you saying, well, hey, you know, I'm not ready right now. I'm not ready to take that step or I'm not ready to, uh, you know, open up my heart or I'm not ready to be physically intimate right now. Right. Like I like this person. I want to keep getting to know them, but I kind of want to take things slow. And because of the way things are, you know, uh, it's just kind of expected that, you know, when a when a man is given an opportunity and this is like a, a good catch that they're just going to go, you know, rushing. They're just going to go, you know, oh, woo, 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 and they're just going to go ru rushing in. And you might be like, well, I'm not ready, right? I'm, I'm not ready, right? And that aspect is, is for all humans. It's not only exclusively for females or for women, right? You might decide that I'm not ready to be physical with this person or I'm not ready to, you know, talk about certain things in my past or I'm not ready to meet them just yet, right? Like I want to make sure that this person is safe. I want to make sure this person is trustworthy. So I feel there's like these issues of vulnerability that might not be the best idea to rush in and to move forward with this person. Okay, those of you that you are in a uh, committed relationship already, I feel there may be talk of relocation. And so, um, you know, some some of you are finding yourself in a situation where you feel like um, you're going to have to decide if you're on board here because that Queen of Cups is making me think like, you're going to come into a time where during this relocation, you're going to have to make your partner and your family uh, come first. And so it might mean that some of you are stepping away from a career or a job, but you might also be going in the direction of, I want to have a partnership. I want to have some kind of business. So you and your partner might be planning, okay, how can we relocate and how can we make sure that you have something that you enjoy doing right but again maybe able to do it from home or go to this new place and start a business there so the dynamic of the relationship is going to be shifting and so the two of wands says really think about it not because it's not a good idea but think about how you can approach it in a way where you're going to be ready for any challenges that come along the way so it's not creating friction or drama or pressure between the two of you your next card here my darlings is the three of pentacles right so three of pentacles again in an existing relationship you guys are reworking the terms of the relationship you're setting down a new foundation and this could be a collaboration in terms of business those of you who are single and you have somebody new coming in, three of pentacles is like you like this person, they like you, you guys have a lot of what each of you are looking for, but the three of pentacles is like, you know, we're going to take our time here, right? It's like, I like you, but I'm not going to go and book the reception hall and order the invitations just yet, right? I'm not going to go book the church and uh, set the date just yet. We need to take time and make sure that this lasts and stands the test of time okay um and or a reconciliation some of you might be coming into the slowest moving reconciliation um in in the history of time but it feels right to you it feels comfortable to you 
Capricorn, as you guys are coming out of the limited beliefs and you're attracting a healthier relationship, people don't like to feel vulnerable, but we cannot attract true love until we're comfortable with our vulnerability because that's shared emotion. That's emotional intimacy. So as you guys are coming into your vulnerability and being more expressive about what you want and what you need and what hurt your feelings and what you appreciate, you're taking things slow moving forward. Okay, you're taking things slow moving forward and you're building a long lasting foundation, right? The kind of relationship that's going to last. So very stable energy you guys are coming into. Again, you might want to watch your moon sign or rising sign video or your Venus sign. If this isn't your Venus sign, I know when it comes to love, a lot of people prefer to watch their Venus sign. But, you know, you might find some months different signs or different placements are going to resonate with you more. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to click on calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Don't forget to watch your weekly forecasts. I know love is important. It's a part of human life, but make sure that you check out other aspects of your life as well. Thanks for watching, my darlings. Bye.